And so uh, let me start over here with this one. And so first thing that I'm going to do is uh, just factor them. So looking at this numerator, I notice that there's a 12 that goes into both of those. There's also an x squared that goes into both of those. So I'm going to factor out an x squared. And notice if I, if I do that, that leaves me just an x here. And that leaves me just a negative 2 here. So factor that numerator. Now I'm going to factor this denominator. Um, with this trinomial, I'm thinking about what multiplies to negative 16 but adds to 6. And so things that multiply to 16 are like 1 and 16, 2 and 8, 4 and 4. And that's negative. So if I go like this, um, 8 times negative 2 is negative 16, but it also adds to 6. So this should factor to um, x minus 2 uh, times x plus 8. And if I do that, now everything's factored. Notice this is 12 times x squared times x minus 2 over x minus 2 times x minus 8. So now I can do some dividing out. Uh, that divided by itself is 1, and nothing else divides out. So that leaves me with uh, 12x squared over x plus 8, and I'm done. I, I can't divide out anything else. Um, and I'm just going to keep my limitations in here. I know that x cannot be 0. I'm sorry, x cannot be 2. I can't divide by 0. And even though it's still there, I'm just going to write it. It also can't be negative 8. There's my solution. So I do this next one. Same sort of thinking. I'm going to factor top, back to bottom, see what cancels out. So I want things that multiply to 6 but add to 5. Uh, things that multiply to 6 would be like 1 and 6, 2 and 3. These are the ones that add to 5. So this factors to x plus 2 times x plus 3. And I'm going to put that over whatever this factors to. Things that factor to negative 6 but add to positive 1. Uh, 1 and 6, 2 and 3, I have to subtract. So there we go. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. 3 plus negative 2 is 1. This factors to uh, x minus 2. Sorry, that's an x. Multiplied by x plus 3. And that's factored out this times this over that times that. So now I can do that. That divides out to a 1. So that's going to leave me with um, x plus 2 over x minus 2. That's my answer. And I know that x uh, cannot equal 2 or negative 3.